Hey guys, welcome back to Master on Tech, where today we're going into another episode of Crazy Hot Buy, where I go to a Amazon bin store, see what I can find with some crazy tech. Today is going to be the Red Dragon M811 Pro wireless gaming mouse. This is an MMO mouse. It's got 10 extra buttons on the side, plus two in the middle on the top, scroll wheel and everything. So we're going to dive in to see what all this mouse can do and how it feels, all the extra good stuff. Without further ado, let's dive in. And oh look, we have the mouse. So as I mentioned at the beginning, this is the Atrex Wireless Red Dragon mouse. It's looking pretty nice. Again, this is a MMO style mouse. We got the details here on the back. If you want to pause and read those, but it's just going over all the extra pieces, the eight buttons, the wireless, the clickiness of everything. Now, for all the lovely specs wise for everything, we are dealing with a Red Dragon M811 Atrex MMO mouse. There are 15 programmable buttons. This one is wireless. There is a wired variant. And then also there are macros that you can do. There's software that goes into it. There's full RGB on just about everything. This is using uh, USB 2.4 wireless. Uh, there is a mode switcher if you want to have some programmable stuff. Inside the box here, we do have some lovely stickers. And so, you know, a couple red dragons, a couple pieces, and of course, some extra art that they have. Here is the instruction booklet. It has just about everything you need in here. Quick start guide. It's real simple. It shows you what each of these buttons are, what they do, what they're already pre-programmed as. And also on the bottom, it has how to charge it. There is a USB-C on the front. And then you can either plug it in or use the wireless dock. Now. For what everybody came here for, the mouse itself. Now, cable is also something to note. It is more of like a shoelace type of material. Uh, really nice. Doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, tangling up very much. It is braided, uh, so it is nice. And it's just simple USB-A to USB-C. Now, the mouse itself, this is pretty solid it has the two clicker buttons it does have the mouse wheel which is clicky you do have the two buttons on the top which again all these be programmed two buttons on the side and then the eight buttons on the bottom everything feels pretty nice even in my hands this still feels kind of big but definitely doable on the bottom you do have the switch for eco off and on on will have the RGBs, Eco will not. They do say you can get 80 hours of battery if you don't have the RGB, and 20 hours if you do. And of course, that mode switch, you can have your profiles built in. You can just click that and change it. Now again, you can program any buttons, so technically you can change that anyways, but for the sake of it, there's a dedicated button on the bottom. Now in the house at the bottom is the USB, so if you are traveling or what, you can just drop it down in there and take it with you. The skis are pretty smooth, and of course, now if you want to get some third-party ones, that's up to you, but for the most part, I think it's fairly smooth enough, and it does glide fairly easily, but I know there are glass skates out there, so if you want to pick some up for it, I think you can get those. Some other things to note for the mouse is it does have some good DPI levels baked into it. It does have 1,000, 2,000, 4, 8, and 26,000. Now, of course, if you have the software, you can change this from one. Again, fully customizable for the RGBs. You have the buttons on the side, then you have the Red Dragon itself, and also the scroll wheel, and kind of the bottom edge that glows right below your hand. And so, of course, one of the biggest things that this mouse has going forward is all the buttons. So depending on what game you're playing, definitely meant for MMOs, but this can be used in FPSs, MMOs, uh, point and click games, sims anything that you need a hot key or a menu to pop up or anything that you what you do on a regular basis over and over and over you can set programs to it and you can set programs for different games so if you have different games you want it to have for different ones whatever you want it to be this mouse definitely can provide that for you again depending on what you want to do with this i definitely would recommend it for the hardcore players 
Uh, this definitely could be a little daunting for some newcomers. So that's definitely mileage may vary. Once you get used to it, I think the placement of the side buttons, the one through eight, are definitely great. Once you get the feel of it, I like that they have kind of a inner concave on both sections of buttons. In which case, then you know exactly which one you're in, and then one, two, three, and four, basically, once you're in. Overall, I think it's been a great mouse to pick up, and definitely been enjoying having it around, especially in different games such as Battle Bits, where you have a bunch of functions that you need to use, say, one through six, for your weapons, your side weapons, claymores, healing people, bandages, medic kit, all the stuff to be easily accessible right there on your mouse right as a thumb away instead of trying to move your fingers up, down, left, or right and trying to mess with your move. I love it. Overall, if you want to pick this up, the link for this will be in the description below. And it, remember, this always goes to support the channel. So if you guys go ahead and click and buy through the link, it definitely helps support. But if you guys can pick this up on, at a good price, it's definitely well worth it, especially the wireless version. Even though 20 hours is not that much with RGB on and fact their leds is kind of you know sus to me about why maybe it's it's not getting so much good battery life when it had 80 hours supposedly uh from no leds on so definitely something to keep in mind if you want the pretty colors you definitely may try to plug it in more frequently or you know depending how long your gaming sessions are it may or may not last but a couple of days just keep that in mind next time uh you want to grab one of these and want to have the rgb on but again everything's fully customizable so if you want them on, off, different cut levels of brightness, whatever you need to do, uh, absolutely can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an absolute blast getting to know this mouse on a very personal level and figuring out how to use it in the games that I play. Again, the link for it will be down in the description. Don't forget to follow me on my other channel as well. We've got a nice esports podcast as well over there. Talk about everything esports, mobile, PC, whatever it may be. The topics, no topics off the table. We're definitely here to hit all the hard-hitting questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like here. And until the next video, guys, I will see you guys later.